Hello, Emmy Bros. This is Jason of Game and Shocks, and welcome to a delayed eShop exploration where a bunch of factors had to make me change my plans for this video, including me moving, getting all the console set up, settling in, and getting addicted to Metopia, as well as a bunch of other factors. Uh, but now, I'm finally doing it, and uh, for this video, I mean, it's going to be a May and June 2021 eShop exploration. So, it's going to be special, and plus E3 is around the corner, so may there's going to be some big games that are bound to show up. So now, let's start. So, uh, so, to begin this special, we must go, oh, I see a bug, oh, all the way down. Okay, so I guess where to start. This might end up being a longer video than normal because, like I said, I'm doing May and June uh, 2021 eShop exploration. But I guess we could start with Super Bomberman R Online. Literally just an online version of Super Bomberman R that I didn't even know, uh, <laughs> that I didn't know had, hadn't had an online mode until now. Um, I don't know why it didn't have it right out the gate, but that's weird, and, um, yeah, there's gonna be, like, some bugs flying around. Just to try to bear with me with that, because I already tried killing a bunch before this video, and they're still here. Oh, well. Alright, but anyway, Super Bomberman R Online is just Bomberman R Online. What more <laughs> What more do you need? Also, is that the PS4 version? Because I see X's on the end. If it is, then, um, I guess, I guess another reason for Konami to die. Uh, Cru was that Cursed Fold? I don't know what that is. Uh, Trenched, tr no wait, Trengu Unlimited. Huh. Kind of looks like one of those, like, Playhouse Disney, like, TV shows that I used to watch as a kid. Kind of reminds me of those. Alright, so, let's go with you, I guess, craps at Ace's Casino. Because, you know, everyone wants to play craps at Ace's Casino, you know. Like, well, I'm saying uh, I, uh, sarcastically as if, like, no one knows what craps is. Um, but, okay, but in actuality, I, um, I know nothing about craps. I, I mean, I know what it is, but I don't know how the game is played it's just snake eyes i guess is that what it is again like that's how you can tell i'm how out of the loop i am on anything casino related but hey if you're into casino stuff uh <laughs> godspeed i suppose um but let's see oh no we're going we're going up we're good we gotta go up baby uh let's go uh love a puzzle box filled with stories now this sounds interesting, and uh, as you know, I like me uh, a good puzzle game from uh, from time to time. Uh, but what is this one about? Every life has a story. Every story has regret. Really? Uh, really? But what if uh, what if you could change the past? If you could, there would be like a ton of of interesting paths to go around in history and in your own life. Um, Love is a puzzle game about finding the things we've lost in ourselves and the people who help us find them. Uh, these, <laughs> through interactions in both the past and present, get to know the people that live in your apartment building and the moments that define their lives and then change them. Now this sounds, uh, sounds very, <laughs> very poetic, uh, sounding, which is, which is nice, but, uh, what about gameplay? I guess you, like, move people around. Because it's a puzzle box, so like you maybe move stuff around to solve puzzles. That's my only guess, I, I suppose. But uh, the the art of the <clears throat> the art style looks nice. So it's like I guess kind of like late '90s looking. How like it looks kind of looks like it's off of like a late '90s website. That's a cool it's a cool motif. All right, Regina and Mac World. What is what is this? Is this a Mario Bros. clone number nine hundred and seventy one? It looks like it. It's even... It looks just like it. Regina and Mac. Who's Mac? Is that Mac, the crocodile? He doesn't look like a crocodile. All right, yeah, all right, bug. You die. There you go. There you go. You got to see a bug die on screen. All right, but let's see. So he, I guess he just... He slides down walls like Mario. He looks like he would jump like Mario. And he has a cane like Scrooge McDuck. He, I guess, dives in the air like a god. Um, <laughs> and then, 
he does other stuff that Mario would do. But I guess he's Mac. Why? I don't know. He's, he's Mac. <laughs> he's Mac. He's a cool guy. He's the cool guy down the street. Alright, route me mail and delivery co. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> it doesn't even look like my kind of game anyway. Alright, color dots connect. Uh, so it's like one of those puzzle games. Is it like that, was it 2148? Or 2048 puzzle game where you have to like move blocks around to like create the number 2048? I don't know, it might not be, but let's see. What else do we have? We have Port Royal 4. So good that I don't even know what the first three are. Um, uh, let's see, A Little Lily Princess. Oh boy, another one of these, like, um, uh, what's it, visual novels. I always run into these, or ones about, like, about anime girls. Great, I filled that quota for the, for the day. Alright, well, what's the next one? Wonder Boy, Asha, and Monster World. Actually, I think I've heard of this one, like, a, little, a couple months ago. Um, I, I just, I kind of forgot it, it was even a thing, I'm not even going to lie. But, um, either way, I like the, uh, the art style. I don't really know much about Wonder Boy. Um, I, I think it was like a, like, um, a mascot, sort of, for the Master System. Not really a mascot, but was like one of the big games for the Master System, like Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap. And then they remade that, and then I guess this is a new um, Wonder Boy game, and it looks nice. I'll put it on the wish list. I don't know if it's getting a physical copy, but I will be happy if it does, uh, because I want this. All right, let's see. And then putting stuff on the wish list, I just realized that I forgot to clear any unnecessary stuff from the wish list, so you might see it fill up again. Uh, so, oops on my part. Uh, World End, World's End Club. I I thought this was like World Ends With You, but I think World Ends With You is getting a sequel, which we'll probably end up seeing later on, but it sounds so similar too, like, it might be just me, um, but yeah, I don't know, I, I don't really know anything about this game, um, let's see, On, no, Off and On Again, uh, is another puzzle game, it looks like, looks like kind of a neat little, little puzzle game, and it's blue, I like blue. Uh, off, off and On Again tells the story of a hero tasked with rebooting time. The game world is created and destroyed during play, with the hero having the ability to turn parts of the world off and on. Ooh, I like that concept. The concept has me sold. Um, let's see. Yeah, it just, I mean, just look at it. I mean... It just looks awesome. And you even get to play Space Invaders within the game. Wish list. Alright, now what else do we have? We have Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity, and the expansion pass for the game. Has there been any DLC released for Hyrule Warriors? I'm not sure. Maybe someone could let me know. Uh, Strike Daz Cans. Why? Next game. Um, what's this? Stray Cat Doors 2. Okay, another one with a very cute art style. Like it's like the eyes. It's it's like one of those like just black eyes with characters. They kind of look like Funko Pops, and it looks so cute. Let's go on a, a new journey with the girl with a white cat hat. That's an, that rolls off the tongue well, too. Uh, what kind of game is it? Is it another puzzle game? I guess it is. It looks like it looks like either a puzzle game or like a point and click game. Because like just looking at the screen, it kind of looks like one. It might again, it might just be me, but I like this art style, and uh, it's charmed me enough to put it on the wish list. Well, what else do we have? We have just in danger because he's just in danger. I didn't come up with that. The game did. Uh, let's see. Uh, B fence, B master, because it's bees. You get it? It's bees. Because bees. Next one, Pony World Three. Uh, I don't. I don't know. What kind of games am I finding here? I'm finding lots of puzzle games and like Pony World, and uh, and then maybe another uh, anime girl game or visual novel. All right, Stonefly. What's this? Is it so, it's something about bugs? It's fitting because I've been killing bugs all night and um, earlier today. Like I, I just killed like a dozen bugs on today, which, they were flies, so they deserve to die. 
Uh, harness the wind and soar. Uh, harness the wind and soar through the wilderness of Stonefly. Brilliant but naive inventor, Anika Stonefly, must recover a lost family heirloom uh, using her smarts and strategy. So, okay, this one actually looks like a platformer mixed with maybe like a twin stick shooter or a beat em up. Looks more like twin stick shooter, maybe. Just by maybe this screen and this screen. Which is, I guess, is kind of fitting because, like, the new art type came out, like, a couple, like, about a month ago. And uh, I guess maybe more people would be into, like, I mean, I know R Type's not a twin stick shooter, but you know what I mean. Like, 2D shooters, that's what I mean. Um, but this looks cool. <laughs> that's really what I'm going to say. It just looks cool. And I like how this mech over here kind of looks like a seesaw. Well, not a seesaw. Like, one of those, like, turntable like rides. I forget. I, I'm blanking on its name. But wish list. Alright, my child Leben's born. I don't know what this is, but it looks depressing. Like, maybe something deep. Um, what's the Spirit Lucky's Big Adventure. Isn't that based on that, like, Netflix show, Spirit, or, like, that movie, Spirit Stallion of the Samaran, or Samaran? I think it's Samaran. Um, and I think that they're actually coming out with a new movie of Spirit, which is... I'm kind of surprised, because, like... Because Spirit Stallion of the Samaran is, or Samaran is not, like, the biggest DreamWorks movie, but I, I guess it's neat that it's getting a sequel. I don't really know much about it but I guess it's cool and it got a game out of it which uh looks like spirit but in 3d uh, I guess like carnivores dinosaur hunt <laughs> not saying that like spirit is like um you know boring like I've heard the first movie is pretty good um but yeah <laughs> uh, but then we got we got dinosaurs look at this dinosaur and look at the t-rex with this teeth hanging out. It's so low. And, oh, and you get to kill them with, with a, a shotgun. Okay. And you got a crossbow with a sight. What? Can, okay, is this like Ark? But, uh, with, with, <laughs> I guess better looking dinosaurs? And then you got one right there that looks like it's, a, like, you know that guy from Jurassic World that was pumping, uh, uh <laughs> that was, like, pumping uh, rounds into the, into the I-Rex and then he got eaten? It looks like that. It looks like that guy from Jurassic World. He's just like, and then yep, and then he dies. It, it, it looks like that just from the art. But I don't know if I want this game. But hey, at least you, at least you made me think of a, a good scene from Jurassic World. Uh, dungeon escape. Uh, is this like Super Meat Boy? Kind of looks like Super Meat Boy. And I just realized. I think with one of the bugs dead, I smeared my screen. Oops. Uh, I'm not my tablet, my TV. Uh, so I guess Dungeon Escape. It looks like Super Meat Boy. I mean, just look at it. it le even the character design looks just like Super Meat Boy. Right? I mean, just look at him. I find a way out or die trying repeatedly in this challenging 2D platformer. You've been trapped in a dungeon filled with deadly traps and ruthless enemies. Yeah, this this is just, just straight up Super Meat Boy. Um, I mean... I put on the wish list because like I've always wanted to give Super Meat Boy a try. Uh, let me let me clean that up just a little bit. You get to see some, I guess, some stuff going on with my TV, which is it's kind of nice. While I do that, I'll just actually I feel like I, uh, I'll clean it afterwards if I can't get it off. A uh, Glan Glan Grand Slam Tennis. It looks like a cheap Steam game that was made for two dollars and a couple tokens from my arcade down the street. And I don't even have an arcade down the street. Um, uh, Wings of Darkness, it's, um, I don't know. Uh, sludge, <laughs> sludge Life. What, what is, what is this? Is this like, I don't even know. Is it like Jet Set Radio? Looking, it looks just like Jet Set Radio. It might be just the cell shading. And then we got Overboard. Which I don't know. It's like Carmen San Diego, on there. Uh, Mystic Pillars. Okay, I guess something to do with math, maybe, or like some other like kind of puzzle games like that with numbers and moving stuff around. Um, Haunted Dawn: The Zombie Apocalypse. Of course, of course, another zombie game, or, or I guess like any other like monsters. 
Well, like, of course, it's the, it's the theme. We've got bugs, anime girls, and now monsters. I mean, I'll, 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 I'll <clears throat> excuse me, I'll include dinosaurs in with monsters and with zombies, because, let's face it, they are kind of monsters. Uh, wait, 451 overload, or 451 overload, so, this is another mech game. I guess set in the world of the book area, no, not area, for, uh, <clears throat> my god, excuse me, um, Fahrenheit 451 was what I meant to say, like the book, Fahrenheit 451, and, uh, and, you know, the book that's about, like, book burnings, and, like, in this dystopian world, like, I've never read it, but I've heard it's a good, a really, like, it's a classic story, kind of like, uh, 1984 in a way, uh, Free Cell, I remember the, playing this a lot on my um, on my old Windows XP computer um, when I was a kid, and I can never beat it, and I still have no idea how to beat it today. Uh, Infinite Tanks World War II Basketball Club Story, and we got another Arcade Archives, uh, Hacha Mecha Fighter, another twin stick, well not twin stick, um, another, another uh, 2D shooter, space shooter. Well, not really a space shooter. Cute designs and fun music. Uh, a user-friendly de design that's great for all players. Hacha Mecha Fighter is a shooting game released by NMK in 1991. Control Kawoso Kawa and Tsuchibuda as they fly um, forward on airplanes and defeat enemies along the way. So I guess it's what uh, maybe people would describe as a cute em up I guess, and I'll put it on the wish list, because, hey, it's cute. Alright, let's move up a bit more, because I think I'm, t I'm wasting a lot of time, like, just going over all these games. Reversi, let's go, because everyone wants to play Reversi. A Chroma Quat... Quat... Quaturi? Quaturnian? What? I don't know, I don't know what that says. Sunblaze, another 2D platformer. Uh, actually looks pretty nice. And it also looks like Celeste. But, I'd, I, hey, Celeste is a great game, and maybe it has, like, uh, a similar message to Celeste. I don't know, um, but, hey, it looks cool. Uh, Hero Pop Head Games. Hero Pop Head Games. Those would, uh, if you mix those two together, they kind of make, like, a good uh, title. Uh, basketball Pinball. Now, that's just, uh, that's just weird. You're combining two different sports with one pinball but basketball but you know in pinball it's kind of hard to you know make the ball fly in the air so it just seems kind of counterintuitive or like an oxymoron in a way well not in a way it just is an oxymoron and then nature matters i want to look at this one really quick and then we'll just like browse through a bunch more uh, because again i like the art style and it's another puzzle game and uh i can never go wrong with puzzle games uh, set off on a puzzle-filled journey to save the planet and experience a compelling tale of friendship, sacrifice, and redemption. Alright, now let's look at the... Um... So is it, is it like a puzzle game, or is it more like a walking simulator? I guess more it's like a puzzle game. I mean, there's even like keys and um, like dots around, so I guess it is a puzzle game. And I just, I don't know why I thought it was a walking simulator, but... Either way, it looks, it just looks great. I'll put it on the wish list, and I might actually buy it afterwards. Okay, my wish list is already full. Oops. See, you, and you've seen, you've seen it here, folks. I warned you earlier, and there it is. Uh, now, well, I guess uh, I don't even know if I'm going to put anything else on the wish list anyway, um, except for Nature Matters. I'm going to put, I'm going to knock something off the wish list that I've already bought, but. Let's see, Last Kids on Earth and the Staff of Doom. That's a long name. Uh, Tiny Lands, which is, um, looks cute. Uh, DC Superhero Girls Teen Power. Remember this game at the February Nintendo Direct and how, like, everyone was, like, kind of groaning at it, including me, uh, when I was, like, trying to record my, um, Nintendo Direct, uh, video, um, I was, I did kind of groan and was like bored, like really? And it's even published by Nintendo as well, which just makes it even more weird. Um, and then we got Grifflands, which looks pretty cool, like, kind of also, like, 
I guess it also looks like a roguelike with, with like a card game. It's probably not a roguelike, it's probably just like a card game, but Caesar Empire War, which I guess is just civilization. Zombie Raid. They're not really raiding, that's for sure. Uh, Mighty Goose. That might that might be the name for Untitled Goose Game. I mean, it, it, I mean it's a different game, but that might actually be the name of Untitled Goose Game. You never know. And then Retrograde Arena, which is free to download. That's nice. Now let's look at the featured stuff and uh, and um, let's see what else we got. Uh, we got that again. We got Metopia, which, like I said at the beginning, I am addicted to Metopia right now. I don't know what it is. It might be just be because of um role-playing as like everyone I know uh, including like my pets like my dog Doug and my the guinea pigs Wes and Snickers like Wes actually is one of my um was one of my party members and um like other people have made like uh key figures like I'll even put like a, a screenshot right now of like me um with uh Kamui as like the prince from a faraway land uh, trying to ask for the hand of uh, Princess Emma Stone, not even joking, while trying to redeem the genie, uh, <laughs> redeem the genie, and also uh, deal with the Fat King, and also have um, some other people on as well. Uh, <laughs> but then we got Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, that color actually looks really nice, but oh wait, it's that game. I'm not touching that. Uh, Mario Golf Super Rush, which, like I said. Uh, a bunch of times I like golf and this just looks like a ton of fun I want to get this maybe you know, like as it when it launches uh, game builder garage now I, I remember when this was announced this was like a, a announcement out of nowhere and uh, I want to give this a shot like I want to try and make some games on it and just see what what I can come up with I'm sure there's gonna be some games that people create that are terrible just like um, Mario Maker but I'm sure there's gonna be like those gems out there, just like Mario Maker. It's just it's like Mar the unofficial Mario Maker three, in a way, just uh, with your own games. Uh, Knockout City. Uh, I remember when this was announced, and I, I didn't really, uh, it just didn't seem like a game for me. I guess. Uh, new Pokemon Snap. I still want to get this. This looks like a ton of fun, and it, look at those visuals. That that's pretty. It sure is pretty, Sheldon. Oh, there's another bug. That's another one to kill. Um, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl double pack. Um, okay. And then Disgaea 6, Pokemon Legends. That's a, that's a lot of Pokemon. Um, Among Us, of course. I still need to, still need to play Among Us. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remastered. Um, I think the PS2 version of this isn't that expensive either. So I might give that a shot. Uh, Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm gonna wait on Skyward Sword HD uh, because like I'm, I'm still I still want to play Skyward Sword on the Wii because I just have a copy of it on Wii. Uh, so like maybe in the future, but not now. Uh, Overcooked 2, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I want to play this in Ori and the Blind Forest so bad. Like th this game would have been one of the reasons I bought an Xbox One. But then it came to Switch, and then I was like, "Oh, okay." I was, no, I was more, I was more disappointed. But like, oh. But at the same time, it's on Switch. But it made me, it gave me one less reason to get an Xbox One. Uh, Monster Hunter Stories Two. Uh, hold on, you die. Uh, that's that's two for the kill. I can now make a kill count of how many bugs have died in this video. Uh, Super Mario 3D World, Bowser's Fury. Bowser's Fury, one of the best games of the year. Uh, Mario Kart Live, Alba. I think I've actually heard of this one. I don't really know anything about it. Kind of looks like Pokemon Snap, but with regular animals. Animal Crossing, of course. There's um, the Neo, the world ends with you uh, that I was talking about earlier. Uh, Subnautica, Subnautica Below Zero. Um, I think those recently came out. That's why, probably why they're there. Bravely Default 2, Minecraft Dungeons, and The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, and then Very, Very Valet. I have no idea what that is. And then let's look at a couple of the great deals that we have going on. And uh, already there's uh, This War of Mine, the complete edition for $4. It's a really good deal. But 
I really don't know anything about this war of mine. This is that that title, this war of mine. It sounds it it, it kind of sounds like a pretentious title, but like I've heard the game itself is actually really really good. Uh, Dragon Quest, the original. Uh, what else do we have? Monopoly for Switch, ten bucks, not bad. Crypt of the Necro Dancer. I want to get that too, especially because I want to get Cadence of Hyrule. Uh, Dragon Quest 3. I'm sure Dragon Quest 2 is here. Oh, I, I actually, it's right there. Never mind. Uh, Blasphemous. Um, <laughs> not now. Uh, I, I'm still trying to get into Dark Souls type games, so Blasphemous I'll save for another time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's the anime game again. Hentai versus Evil. Whoa! <laughs> Why? Why is that a thing? Okay, now I'm expecting, like, since there's hentai, there must be tentacle hentai in there as well. Like, I'm not even going to be surprised if there's just, like, this big tentacle monster, like, rising out of, like, the sea or whatever, and it just grabs them because, because hentai. Um, Jesus. The eShop is weird, I swear. Um, Car Mechanic Simulator, this is like, uh, this is like a game my brother would... I think it, I think he actually has this game, um, and because he he's more into cars than I am. Grifflands Daddish, the Radish, that would have been a good title, but it looks cute. Cat, just cat, like you know the movie Cats, like take out the plural and then take out everything about that movie, and then just make it one about one singular cat. And now we've got a game, and it looks nice. I can't add it to the wish list because it's because I can't. It's full. Sorry, Worms WMD. Um, I want. I really want to play Worms WMD or just any of the Worms games. Like I think Armageddon is like like the big one out of the originals. Um, but I'll get it someday. And then the Flame and the Flood. I don't. I don't know what this one's about. Looks kind of like a Zelda style game. Looks nice. And then Dicey Dungeons. I've actually heard um, about this one. I don't know if any of you are familiar with the YouTube channel uh, Snowman Gaming, but I've actually uh, he he was how I uh, f found out about this game, and it sounded super unique and uh, and like this creative. Like it's a it's like a card game with dice, or like an RPG with like dice. It's like from what I saw, it looked really like interesting. And it's eight ninety nine. It's, it's about to be go off sale soon, so I'll probably get it, um, maybe soon. Overcooked, all of you can eat. Uh, what else? We have? Let's go through a couple more. Child of Light, five bucks again. Good, really good deal. Uh, Panzer Dragoon remake. Ooh, ooh, that's another one I want to I want to get. I'm finding some good stuff, even if there's a lot of weird things that I'm seeing, like bugs on my screen, anime girls, and hentai, and um, it's, and mechs. Uh, and the Ninja Gaiden Master Collection Deluxe Edition. Wait, is that not out? I thought it was already out. I guess not. Uh, Moonlighter Complete Edition, uh, 870. And then, again, another good deal. And then Summer in Mara. Again, this is a lot of good games. And there's also Daddish 2. Because, <laughs> hey, da Daddish 2 Electric Doogaloo with Daddish 2. Alright, now for the best sellers. We'll go through these really quick. Metopia is number one. That's a, I'm actually kind of sur I'm kind of happy that's number one because like, if you're really into Metopia, no, if no, 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 scratch that. If you're into like making your own adventure type RPGs, then I'd recommend getting Metopia. That game is just. I mean, I think just by if if you're not interested in like a, I think, <clears throat> hold on. I think the game, like, kind of tells you if you're going to like it or not. Um, like, based on it being a RPG about me's. Uh, Among Us, Bowser's Fury, slash Mario 3D World, New Pokemon Snap, Animal Crossing, Ori, Mario, Super Mario Party. Um, I saw that the Mario Party got an online um, update, so I'm, I'm <clears throat> I'll have to give that a shot. And my Switch fell over. Don't want it to fall over because one of my Joy Cons is charging, and that's really how I'm doing this video. Uh, Unravel 2, Zelda Breath of the Wild, NBA 2K21, which I assume is trash, and so will be 
the next one and the next one after that. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise, which I hear is a great game. Like, I hear it's one of the best games of the year. Next to, like, um, It Takes Two and Resident Evil 8. And maybe a couple others. Overcooked, Pokemon Sword, Subnautica, Cuphead, Cattails. <laughs> it's all, it's it's making me cold. But no, it's my AC. My a, my AC, if I, that, if I didn't make that clear. This were mine, Baldur's Gate. And then, uh, wait, I forgot the other ones, the download onlys. See if there's a difference, uh, which there might be. Let's see if this can load. Yeah, Among Us is number one still. I'm surprised because I haven't really been seeing a lot of Among Us stuff lately. And then Cuphead, Subnautica, both versions of it. Uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, American Fugitive State of Emergency. Uh, it was like that game at the beginning of the video, and I don't know what it is. I guess you just, uh, you get out of prison, guns a-blazing. What a premise. And, and I don't mean that sarcastically. Uh, the Almost Gone, what's this? Never seen this one before. I guess it's another, like, minimalist kind of game. Uh, Dragon Quest, Hollow Knight, uh, uh, again, another game I really want to play, Hollow Knight. Again, just look at it. Look at it. And it's another Dark Souls style game, in a way. So, that's another one to <laughs> chuck off the list. Or check off, not chuck off. I thought I'm gonna chuck it out the window. Uh, <laughs> Piano, Human Fall Flat, uh, Metal Slug 2, uh, Air, um, Blasphemous Bowling. <laughs> Blasphemous Bowling! <laughs> How blasphemous is, is bowl, can bowling be? Uh, and then paint, and then sword art online. And of course, hentai versus evil made it. Just wait, next month, uh, it's going to be number one. I can see it now. Uh, but now for the coming soon, and then maybe a little bit of talk about E3 at the end. Uh, Red Bale Escape or Ball. I mean, it's, it looks like it's spelled like bale, but it's got to be ball. Ball. Uh, Bring Me Honey. Uh, Alba. Um, yeah, I think it... Oh, there's the Ninja Guy in Master Collection. So I guess it's not out yet. Uh, even though you can. It's 10% off for the Deluxe Edition. Uh, pixel... Oh, no. Pixel Cell... Cells, excuse me. Must be the cells inside my body that's making me do that. <laughs> no. Uh, Pix Jungle. What's with the pixelated theme I'm noticing? There's a ton of themes for today. Uh, and then, what's that say? Kira, Kira Stars, Idol Project, I... So I guess it's like Hatsune Miku. Uh, Alchemist Adventure. Uh, what's, what's that one? Saber? Saber? Oh, I can't read. I can't see what that other one... That other word is. Uh, there's Game Builder Garage again. I might actually get that uh, day one. I, I don't have it pre-ordered, but I want to give it a shot. And maybe even do like, some videos for you guys. Uh, we'll see. Uh, what else we have? <laughs> well, here's some more anime stuff. Like, there's Bakumatsu Rekka Shinsengumi. And then Idol Days. Just a ton of anime stuff. Why? <laughs> is it anime season? Is that why? I'm not into anime, so someone can let me know. Uh, Luciform, which looks so... And the, the cover looks pretty, but then the game looks nice. Uh, Ra Rotun Takeoff, a game about uh, fighting animals. Uh, Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games, the official video game. Um, the alternate universe where the, uh, Tokyo 2020 took place in 2020. But hey, I... I'm not complaining. At least we're still getting the Olympics, and they're not canceled. And you can play, and you can have Sonic in the game. Uh, and then Super Magbot. I don't know what this is. Uh, but then Lego Builder's Journey, and another bug on my screen. Uh, I've actually played this game on my um, on my Mac through the um, Apple Arcade. It's a really like, it's like a really relaxing like puzzle game. It's not. It's nothing like any other Lego game you've played. It's just like, it's just like this puzzle game just with the little story about like a kid and his, his father just kind of going out it's really cute i wonder if it has some extra levels it looks like it does uh, but i'm not entirely sure but yeah it's it's a really fun game I mean, it's very relaxing too like if you're having like kind of a stressed out time and you like 
just play like a game for like a little bit and then like you'll probably feel nice and relaxed. Alright, Alex Kidd in Miracle World DX. Uh, I guess another Sega IP that's back. Uh, mon <laughs> not mon <laughs> monkey. <laughs> monkey! Uh, Alex Kidd. Never would have guessed that Alex Kidd would ever be back. Um, but he's back. Um, and then uh, Legend of Mana. I think that's just the remake of Legend of Mana. Mario Golf Super Rush. Hell yeah. Uh, Disgaea 6. Uh, destroy all humans! Uh, and then uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors and Ghoul Patrol, which is nice because, like, a, Zombies Ate My Neighbors is just, you know, it's a, it's a cool game. And then I hear nothing about Ghoul Patrol, which might be for the best. I don't know. Uh, a Tale of Synops. No idea what that is. The Sisters. No idea what that is either. Uh, Monster Hunter Stories 2. No, 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 what that is either. No. No, I know what that is, but... I think the, the first game's a 3DS game, but I really don't know anything about it. Uh, Zelda Skyward HD, Chris Tales, uh, Akiba's Trip, Hellbound and Debriefed. Actually, Kamui, uh, if you're watching this, is uh, Akiba's Trip. I know you like that. You really like that game. Uh, like, it's like a... I think you told me that... Uh, I don't know if you ever told this, but, like... like I mean, I don't really know anything about Akiba's Trip. I just know it from uh, my good friend Kamui plays um and that's really all i know about it. i think it has something to do with vampires but <laughs> i don't remember uh fantastic night dreams cotton reboot that is like five different words that do not belong together at least in that way uh terra lander um looks nice terra bomber and then terra lander too can't believe they already have the whole series out uh, and then the falconeer I guess another reason that I would have wanted an Xbox One or a Series X, but now it's on Switch and and now I, and now I could another less reason to not get a Series X or an Xbox One, which is sad because I want a Series X um, at some point. Uh, no more Heroes Three. I know a lot of people are excited for that one. Uh, Squabble and then Pokemon Diamond, uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and then Star Wars Hunters. Uh, nothing about that. And then, the first game for 2022 on the list, uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Which, um, I think this one was, like, supposed to change it up with, like, it has, like, an open world, I think. Don't know anything about it, but I just heard, like, um, it was either with these two or this one. I don't remember, but just one of them that's, like, big. Um, and then King's Bounty 2, which I'm pretty sure does have a release date now. I thought it was... August, um, but I guess not, at least on here. <clears throat> so, yeah, that is it. So, thank you all for watching the video, and please comment, like, and subscribe. And next video is, I'm not sure what it's gonna be. You'll see in the next couple of days. Alright, there's another bug right there. Die. Alright, so that's three for the kill count. Um, and, um, I definitely w might do, like, an E3 type of video, either me reacting to, like, the announcements from some, uh, places, or, like, some conferences, or just, you know, just maybe have, like, a chill stream about it at some, uh, I keep saying at some point, and, like, uh, and other stuff, but, like, still, like, I, I, I want to do, like, an E3 video sometime, so maybe I will, and, uh, you can follow me on social media in, in the description, uh, links will be the, will be for those in the description, and, uh, yeah, uh, almost the E3 time. I'm uh, I'm getting hyped, so shock the <clears throat> so shock the so shock the world and us, me bros. Goodbye.